Now the spouses are speaking up. More than 500 active duty military spouses signed a petition hand delivered to Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville earlier today. The petition calls for an end to the Alabama senator's months long effort to block more than 280 high ranking military promotions. And that's the part that few are talking about, the human impact this is having on the military families. Joining us now is Sarah Strader. She's the executive director of the Secure Families Initiative, a nonpartisan group that provides support to military families. The group organized this petition. The petition is organized by the nonprofit Secure Families Initiative, and it reads in part, quote, it is highly inappropriate and unpatriotic to wage a political battle by using military service members as pawns. It's time to end this political showmanship and recommit to respect the service and sacrifice of those who pledge to defend this nation. Kate Marsh Lord is the communications director of the Secure Families Initiative. She's also a military spouse. Her you know, if I got the chance to speak to the senator in person, uh, which unfortunately we were unable to do yesterday as he was busy with a fundraiser, uh, what I would have explained is that this is affecting every single one of us with a loved one in uniform. It's like pulling a football coach halfway through the biggest game of the season. Uh, I want you to take a listen to this military spouse who's a member of the Secure Families Initiative. It's affecting military families in the sense of quality of life. Alexis McDonald is a local Navy spouse who's been following what's been going on in Washington. Senator Tupperville is playing politics with our families. I would ask the senator to please listen to military leaders and yes, to military families when we are telling him the impact that this is having on our community. It can't be understated the immediate and long lasting negative impact this has had on military families. Active duty Marine Corps spouse Brandy Jones does not use these words lightly. And now you're thrown into complete limbo and complete chaos. Frustrated and appalled. Those are the thoughts Sarah Strader says her family shares with many military families about their uncertain future. These are 281 families who are in perpetual limbo. Kate Marsh Lord, a military spouse, advocates for military families. Families have been serving for literally decades and this is the first time where they are being used as political pawns. This military leaders and their families as pawns in his political battle is, is just absolutely inappropriate. 